Good morning, Eagles. My name is Wyatt, and here at GJ, our mission is to be prompt, polite, and prepared, and our vision is that every student will graduate with the skills necessary to be successful in a college or career. Today's show is all about COVID. We'll have Ethan talking about the virus, Chase giving us some guidelines and precautions to stay safe, and Tram talking about the newly found vaccine. Get ready, Eagles, because ENN starts right now. Before we start talking about everything, let's have Ethan give us a little background on the subject. Let's see what he has for us. Now, the year 2021 is officially here. We can reflect upon what happened in the year 2020. Everyone would say that 2020 was one of the worst years in recent memory, and that's because one of the biggest issues, COVID-19. I'm Ethan Holcomb from Ian, and here to talk about how COVID-19 affected our lives in 2020. It all started in Wuhan, China in 2019, and eventually it took over the world by storm in March of 2020, it forced schools to shut down and encouraged people to stay six feet apart and stay home. States began to issue a stay-at-home order to prevent the spread of the virus. This forced small businesses to shut down and people began to lose their jobs. But at the same time, frontline workers began to be overwhelmed at hospitals. COVID-19 didn't just shut places down. It also killed a lot of people. According to the CDC, there are over 300,000 deaths in the United States today. This has affected many lives and families. Overall, COVID-19 shut down businesses Kill a lot of people, tearing families apart, making people lose their jobs and monies. I'm Ethan Holcomb from ENN, signing off. Thanks, Ethan. Now we have some background on the virus and know a lot more about it. You know, let's see what's going on here on campus, even with all this COVID stuff. Anyone interested in trying out for the 2021 Wind Dancers, there will be a mandatory Zoom meeting on Friday, February 5th at 6.30 p.m. Sophomore Student Council Spirit Night is January 13th from 5 to 9 p.m. at Chipotle on South Florida Ave. There's a sophomore class meeting on January 12, 2021 in room 1221. Attention all boys interested in trying out for the boys track team. Tryouts will begin Monday, January 25th. You must have all athletic paperwork completed in order to participate in tryouts. This year's teacher-student talent contest will be held on Thursday, January 28th at 7 p.m. in the GJ Auditorium. That's a lot of activities going on. Let's see what rules and procedures we can follow to keep us safe even with all these things. Let's go to Chase to see what he has to say. As you may know, every day when you drive through the car line or get dropped off, we are required to temperature check you and every teacher is required to sanitize their classroom before every class. But for athletes, that's a whole different story. The CDC makes athletes follow certain protocols and guidelines before each practicing game, which include additional temperature checks, wearing masks everywhere, no hanging out in groups larger than 10, and a questionnaire that if you answer any questions wrong, you cannot play for at least 10 days. Many George Jenkins High School teams are struggling through this difficult time, but are figuring out ways to work through it, while including wearing their mask around other people and getting tested whenever is necessary. With these additional guidelines and protocols, hopefully it makes our athletes safer and be able to play. Chase Moore, signing off from ENN. Thanks, Chase. Unfortunately, a lot of people don't follow those procedures, but I heard that there's a new COVID vaccine that's being developed that could get us out of all of this hecticness. Let's go to Tram to see what she has to say about it. As seen in the last year, COVID-19 has affected people worldwide and is still affecting us to this day. Because of this, researchers and scientists have been scrambling to find a vaccine. And finally, their hard work has paid off. The CDC has authorized two new vaccines called the P-Pfizer vaccine and the Moderna vaccine, both having a 90% or higher effectiveness rate against COVID. Unlike rumors, both vaccines have gone under rigorous testing by the FDA and are completely safe to use with no serious side effects. Both use a new technology called messenger RNA, which creates an immunity in people against COVID with two doses. As of right now, healthcare workers are the only people openly accessible to the vaccine, but it is speculated that the general public will have access to the vaccine in late spring slash summer. Signing off, Tram from ENN. Thanks, Tram. Hopefully that vaccine will put an end to all this madness we can get over with it. Well, that's all I have for today, Eagles. I'm Wyatt, signing off from ENN.